Okay, I'm sorry, thank you for the roses. Um, but yeah, if, if I wanna have my best body by 30, in theory, I will be strong enough, fast enough, like prepared enough to do this high rocks race in December. So I, I don't know, I'm nervous, I'm excited. I have a couple friends that are into it and will like fly out to come do it, so. We'll see. Mind you, when I say I signed up for it, I signed up for the wait list, because you know, these, these LA people, they're all about the like, fitness, competition, content, and I'm just like, I wanna try it for fun. <laughs> Taylor be the host of Roundtable Talk. Oh, that's not my decision. I would love to. And there he goes. I would love to do it. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely. It would be like... It would be a dream. Um, yes. Oh, I got him! I got him! Tried to run away from me. Guys, look how big you, big, big you got! <laughs> He's mad. I'm not playing with him. Are you mad, Papa? Are you mad, Papa? Guys, why should I go that plane? Oh, I guess we'll sad when I think about it. Can I come on live with you? Okay, so I read that too fast in my head at first. I thought I said, can I come and live with you? No. <laughs> you also cannot come on live with me because if I have anyone join the live, I won't go to the gym. Is that right, Becky? <laughs> Thanks for sharing the live. She said, petty when necessary. Thank you for sharing, sharing the live. Future of you guys, you are all up in the gifting situation. Thank you. Sean, my dog's name is Benji. He's a toy golden doodle, but he just, he kept growing. Look at him. He's, he looks like he should be a mini, but he's a toy. Look at this. Look at him. He's so big. I was just looking at um, puppy pictures I had of him. He was like half, he was like that big. <laughs> Who do you want to win the season right now? I think, I mean, who's left in the house? Rubina, you know, what I really want to see right now, I kind of want to see the house just kind of like bite the bullet and get the guys out. Iconic, right? And I love the guys that are left. I, I think everybody in that house is so fun. I thought you were wearing a fur coat. I mean, basically. <laughs> um, Chelsea's got just like a chokehold on the game right now. So it's interesting. I don't know if anyone, it doesn't seem like anyone's really plotting to get her out. And I, when is someone gonna wake up and be like, wait, we should target her? but she's playing a hell of a game. And you know, that's, that's exciting. Like I'm really, really excited to see any of them. Are you the new round table host? I don't know y'all. I would love to be, I would love to be. Um, I really, really love seeing all the alum kind of put their hats in the ring and be like, I'd be really good at this. I want to do this. Um, I saw a tweet that was really funny that was like, <laughs> Imagine being Will, announcing you're stepping down from being the host, and all the replies are who your replacement should be. I was like, just give the man some respect. Bob Quisha, what'd you say? You rewatched my winner's video? Thanks. I forget sometimes. Um, I just, yeah, what a special time. What a really special time. Could you have us on the floor? I don't know what that means. Like, are you trying to step forward? You try to step up to the mic. I'm not inviting anybody to the mic because I'm trying to go to the gym, you guys. <gasps> Benji! Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Benji! <laughs> He's looking at me like, why do you put me down? Thoughts on the double being so late? Um, I don't really have a strong opinion on that. If, I, if anything kind of keeps you on your toes as a house guest, I didn't have a real working knowledge of when things usually happen or shift in the game. I just remember feeling like, you know, you look at the landscape of the game and you're like, okay, it's about this time for a person to go, or if I want to go far, then this person should sort of go. Sorry, camera on the floor. Why do you want the camera on the floor? No. Remember when you slept your way to winning your brother? I don't remember that, actually. It didn't happen. Loser! <laughs> Thoughts on Angela? She's a bully in my opinion. I mean, I'm not going to call her a bully, but 
I'm, for the sake of the show, I'm entertained by her, for sure. Would you do Big Brother again? I would do a shorter season. So I would do a Ranger Games again. I would do a, like a month long all winter season. I'd do a month long all star season. Who do I think wins AFP? I would be very surprised if Tucker didn't take it. But also, like the amount of time that you've been on the show really helps and Tucker went pre-jury, so it'll be interesting. I don't know, it'll be, he'll definitely be top two for it, but I could see a situation where someone who made jury ends up taking it just because they've been on the show and like in our faces longer. But I, I'm pretty sure Tucker's gonna take it. Fight the power head ass, that's a funny name. Look at me, I'm not going to the gym. I got dressed for the gym and I'm not going to the gym. Will Zingbot make Angela cry? I know the zings already happened. So I think we would have heard about it. And if anyone out here is like, oh my God, spoilers, spoilers. You can't spoil a show that happens in real time. That's my stance on everything. I need to get on the treadmill workout pack. Okay, PJ, my goal for today, okay? My goal for today is to run one kilometer, which I think is like 0.62 of a mile. Um, actually, let me pull this up. Let me just get this right so I know what I'm talking about. Because if I'm getting ready for a high rocks race, 9% better on my laptop. So I could go into my, bed, my laptop guys, let's see. High rocks. How funny is this? I'm literally on this website like, okay, let's learn about this race. Race format, okay. It's, so there's eight different like segments that happen with it. So one is a skier. The skier is that thing that like you pull down on, you know what I'm talking about? There's a sled push, there's a sled pull, burpee broad jumps, which I already hate, <laughs> burpees why. There's rowing, there's a farmer's carry, sandbag lunges, and wall ball. So then you run one kilometer between each of those. So it's a lot, like it's more than I'm used to for my workouts. I love a Pilates, I like the, I like a reformer, I like to lengthen and lean and tone, but like I said, I wanna do something that's gonna really transform my body, and I feel like doing all of this is gonna help me. Cause I turned 30, oh my God, I turned 30. <laughs> it doesn't feel real, you guys. Um, and one of my best friends out in DC, we just made plans for her 30th birthday. We're all gonna go to like a cabin out on the East Coast. I'm so like I'm dying, dying, dying to be with those people again, like people for real. Um, but literally her birthday is a month before mine. So we finished up with her and she looked at me and was like, what are we doing for your birthday? I was like, I don't, I really don't wanna do a big thing, honestly. Like I just wanna have a small trip to like, Bora Bora, you know, wherever those little huts are. I just wanna do that. I wanna be with like three or four people that I'm really close with and just have like a very quiet, peaceful vacation. I don't wanna do the whole, I'm not a partier. I don't like big parties, I don't like big events. Uh, I did it for my Sweet 16, which was awesome. But that's the last time that I'm ever gonna need it. Yeah, we get rid of spam. Loser. Did you like Janky World? I kind of did love Janky World. As a viewer, I liked Janky World, but I know if I was a house guest, I would absolutely hate it. Okay, where's my little face spray thing? Guys, if I could show you this super unorganized, insane mess of a drawer. 
It's not cute. But I have a full size of this Tower 28. It's SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Here it says, it says it is a happy solution for angry skin. Use AM and PM before moisturizer for all skin types. Happy skin pH of 4.5. So I've been using this before and after the gym. It just like, I feel like you get can get a lot of bacteria on your face. I feel like I'm making shit up right now. But I do feel like you can get a lot of bacteria or like nasty stuff on your face at the gym. Oh my god, did I lose it? Did I lose it? Oh my god, you guys, I think I lost my full size. I feel like it's dumb dumb. Not dumb dumb dumb. I feel like fucking something. And you're crying. Cause there's nothing. You got, there's nothing in there. And I didn't care because I had my full size and now I can't find it. Oh! Is he here? Ha! <laughs> Crisis averted, oh my god. I was about to cry. So we're just gonna spray this. Was it probably a little too much? Maybe, don't care. I've been on the road so much, literally three weeks in a row, which is insane. I was only supposed to go to Michigan for the Kamala event that I spoke at and then come back to LA. But since I was on the East Coast, all of my friends were like, <laughs> they're like, you might as well just, well, Joseph was like, you might as well come down to Florida, so Florida. And then while I was in Michigan, that's where I met the representative for the first time. And he invited me to speak on the panel in DC. So also my friends in DC were like, come see us. So I just got to do my little East Coast tour all at once. You guys, my toxic trait, <laughs> my toxic trait is keeping these braids in for like the last three weeks and I have so desperately wanted to take them out. You guys understand, I have wanted to take these braids out so badly. <laughs> but my toxic trait is that I'm like, oh, but I'm gonna work out. And I love working out when I have the braids because it's just easier. No, they, they do still look good. They're pretty grown out at the root, obviously, but like the hair itself, I haven't put any, I didn't like spray it with any conditioner or water. This just is how they look. They look really good. If I just sprayed them down and brushed them out and styled it for the day, I could pull it off and keep it pushing. But I want to do something different. I think I want to do a different color. It's time. It's time for me to like take these out and be done. Mango! Do you like watching play? I like this cast. I just like the cast. Um, Quinn was entertaining. Like, I want to be entertained when I watch these shows. I want to have a fun time when I'm watching Big Brother. And it's been so much fun watching. Like, I wanna see people do terrible game decisions. I wanna see people do amazing game decisions. I have had so much fun with that. See, if you put us on the floor, I'll give you a hug. I don't, is that like a, this little, she, what's going on there? What's going on there? Do you see how I'm just talking so I don't have to spend every workout? <laughs> okay, wait, I'll get my shoes, not put my shoes on. So when I was in, where the hell was I when I got these? When I was in Florida, actually, I got these new running shoes. They're from, these are Lululemon. BigBrotherReality.tv, that's the name, baby. Um, so I got these shoes because my other ones that I was doing, the hour on the Dare Master and the hour on the like, honestly, I think I kind of fucked up my feet and my knees in those old shoes. They just weren't good for running, working out, they're like three years old. It was, they're more like five years old, if I'm being really honest. I think I used those shoes to paint for both of my last pageants, which feels like a lifetime ago. So I got new running shoes because I'm a fit girl now. I'm a, 
<laughs> Best body by 30, ass bitch. <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks, Anna. That's nice of you. I'm not gonna show you my legs. Like, I, I haven't shaved in like. I'll say three weeks. When's the last time I wore a dress? No, I shaved in DC because I had that. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm a little. Yeah, I'm a little splotchy now. <laughs> Okay. Do you see how slow I'm moving? My favorite post eviction interview. Oh, that's a great question. Actually, I haven't been asked that before. Um, This is gonna be like an odd answer, but I think I really liked interviewing Joseph because he didn't really give me a lot. <laughs> and so interviewing him forced me to be a better interviewer. Like I got through all of my questions that were approved by uh, ET, because how we do this basically is that my producer and I have a meeting right after the eviction. We come up with questions together. And so we usually have about like seven questions and that's usually plenty of questions because people have to talk about themselves. So I remember doing my interview with Joseph and I get through all seven questions in like three minutes. <laughs> and I have a 10 minute time slot to interview these house guests. So now I have to use my Rolodex of anything he's done in Big Brother. I have to keep my eye on my producer. I have to keep my eye on CBS PR because they're in the calls. Um, and it's just me. It's not like I have a team of people that I can interact with that are bouncing back and forth. So yeah, I remember Joseph, someone just said it. Yeah, interviewing Joseph was like pulling teeth. <laughs> Genuinely, it was like pulling teeth. And I don't blame him, like the dude, he loves his brother, he just got evicted. Like, you're up at the ass crack of dawn to do these interviews. It's not fun. Like, I got to do these interviews riding the high, oh my god, I just won, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, these people are doing interviews that are just losing, and then to sleep on it, and now it's like, smacking like a Mack truck, right? So, I just remember feeling like, Joseph's interview challenged me the most, and I appreciated that, even though like, he wasn't sitting there thinking, oh, I'm gonna give Taylor a challenge and I'm gonna make her work for this. No, like he was very over it, but as someone that wants to grow as a journalist, someone who wants to grow in the entertainment space, I just, I personally enjoyed that. Would I say that was the most entertaining interview? Was that like the best sound bites I got out of it? No, <laughs> absolutely not. But I appreciated the way that it forced me to grow and adapt, so that's what that is. Okay, guys, I have, Okay, I did my Tower 28, I did my moisturizing lotion. Before I did any of that, I did my um, resurfacing facial pads just because I slept in my makeup. I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm fairly perfect. Do you always have the same place in line for interviews or do they switch up the order? It's always the same place in line for interviews. Oh, Mark, your lips to God's ears. <laughs> To the drag race gods ears, to RuPaul's ears, honestly. Um, yeah, it's the same lineup every time. So sometimes if I had a question that I thought was really good that I didn't get to ask, I would text somebody that I knew was behind me or you know, later on and be like, hey, I didn't get to ask this question or like I felt like this person was about to ask this, answer this question or kind of get to this point. It's clearly something they want to talk about, so make sure you hit it for your interview. So it's cool. Like, being in this little reality journalism community. We all kind of help each other out. I, I love it. I really, really love it, so. Oh yeah, the challenge, draw me on the round table. If, what if I do reverse psychology? What if I just say, yeah, I'm doing that show? Will you guys stop asking about it? Because it's been two years! Two years of me saying, no, I don't want to do it. So let's try reverse psychology and see how that goes. Does anybody else do like a little body spray? 
<laughs> before you work out. I love it. Do you think we'll ever have a successful female alliance? Not you letting us know, but you know what? And when you're on the season, then <laughs> that won't happen. Exactly, we're reverse psychology in this. I like that. Leah was my my favorite pick from the jump. Like I've learned better than to pick winners <laughs> from the beginning. Hey Janelle, do you select Lays? I love Lays. I love Lays so much. You guys. It's like, and they still take good care of me. Like I'll I'll hit them up sometimes. Be like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, I would be very surprised if Chelsea doesn't end up winning, but we're at the point in the game where people should look at her and be like, ah, Brett! <laughs> Serious question from Big Brother Regala, T.T.P. What's up? Would you want to be a faithful or a traitor on the traitors? I would want to be a traitor because that's how you win the most amount of money. ever do that show on MTV because read with Mimi period. Um, yeah, I don't think I could ever do that show because I have the people that I have met that I really like that um, do that show regularly like I've told them how I would play the game so now I can never do the game with them because <laughs> they know how I would play it. Ugh. No, I don't, I'm not trying to say it in a derogatory way. Uh, Ari, I'm not saying it derogatorily. I'm saying it so y'all don't clip this and like freaking bite what I'm saying. Cause watch, I'll go and do my little workout and then I'll come back and you guys will be like, she's training for the show. And then like my words will be added to, I want to do a challenge. Like no, no. I'm enjoying Mackenzie's game, I'm enjoying Leah's game, I'm enjoying, I'm, I really liked T-Core's game. I liked T-Core, I didn't like her game. <laughs> um, Chelsea's game, loving. I'm interested in Cam, his game, his decisions, like is he intentionally not winning competition? Does he intentionally, like I don't, I can't read him. Clip that and post it everywhere saying to see, here y'all go. Taylor, nope, 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 we're not shipping. No more shipping. Don't ship me with anyone unless it's like. You just all been married, but you, you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> Do you think janky was because they female gave for ants? No. No, I think they just like the idea of having everybody outside a twist like that. It gets, I do think it's interesting. Taylor and Michael B. Jordan, maybe. Exact, Taylor and money is the best shit, period. <laughs> What's that one TikTok thing where we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think chemo has a chance at the currency of the game? No, but I would like to see him. Like, I think anybody that makes the final two I think anybody that gets to final two is gonna have a really satisfying and interesting journey on how they got there. And I, that's all you can really ask for in a season. Like putting all your eggs in one basket. Can you unblock me on Twitter? No. <laughs> I don't know who you are, I don't know what you did, but if I blocked you on Twitter, you got on my nerves. I scrolled and scrolled back and I realized who it was. Hey boo! Yeah, I'm just kind of in a, oh, these are not my natural curls, honey. I paid for these. <laughs> I paid for this hair. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm kind of on my Jackie Ina shit right now. Like, I used to be in a space of anybody, like it's open forums, 
say whatever you want. I don't have to engage. I don't have to interact. I, I don't have to feel however I feel about things. Now it's just like, if I'm even slightly irritated by something I see online, I don't have to deal with it. You bother me. Girl, time to take the braids out. You think I don't know that? <laughs> you think I don't know that? I have been trying to do this for three weeks. Then I was on the road for three weeks and had events for three weeks. And then I was like, oh, but I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna work out. And I have been working out. I have to take these out. Michael, what's up? As a Michigan pageant girl, can I ask why you chose the CSA over MAO? Um, it was, it's more glamorous. I'm a glamour girl. Taking out the braids is a full eight hour shift. This is gonna be like a 12 hour shift. Let's be very serious. What was that? You can, you can get a takedown service at a salon. Sometimes you gotta save time. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, I need to take this pre-workout. I've done everything. I've sprayed the body spray. I burned my shoulder with a curling iron and it got like really blistery and ugly. So they got me skin tone band-aids. PJ, you want a workout pack? How are we doing this? How are we doing this workout pack? Dirty Diana. Oh. I always worry about cutting my actual hair when I'm taking my braids out. Okay, Big Brother Reality TV is black. <laughs> I had to assume that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's another one of you guys that. There's another one of you. Uh, you're not in here right now. It's uh, Jason. He'll like, I hear his voice sometimes, and I swear up and down that is a black kid. <laughs> So he's like, I'm not black. And I was like, you sure about that? You sure about 